Hi everybody. So we're out in the shop and today I'm working on a 1991 Jeep Wrangler YJ. And today I'm going to be working on the fuel tank supply lines. Specifically, I'm going to be working on the fuel line that's coming from the fuel pump and going towards the fuel filter. And what I'll be doing is installing this fuel line check valve. The problem that this YJ has is that the check valve inside the fuel pump isn't working right. And so what happens is, after the engine's turned off, the fuel that's in these lines drains back from the engine, down through the lines, through the fuel filter, and back into the fuel tank. And that's because the check valve inside the fuel sending unit that's in the tank isn't working right. So that gives the Jeep long cranking times So I'm going to install this fuel line check valve in the fuel supply line that's coming out of the tank. That way when the engine is shut off, the fuel won't be able to drain back into the tank and it'll stay in the line going up towards the engine. That should help reduce long crank times, which will improve engine starting. So basically the way these work is there's a little diaphragm inside that only lets the fuel flow in one direction. So if you want to test this, you can blow into one end of the tube and if you blow in the direction of the arrow, you'll be able to blow air through to the other side. But if you flip it around and try blowing the wrong way, the diaphragm inside the check valve will close and prevent the air from flowing to the other side. Now you can see these fuel lines that I have here coming out of the tank are pretty new. And in fact, I replaced these about two years ago. And these are 5 16 inch fuel line and I have the rest of the roll over on my work table. So really all I have to do is disconnect the supply line clamp, remove the hose from the supply line, and then I can attach it to this fuel check valve. Then I'll just need a new short piece of hose to attach this check valve back to the line, along with two clamps. Well, this part should be relatively easy. All I have to do is cut a piece of this fuel line, and really all I need is enough to attach to the barb fitting on the fuel check valve and then I need about another inch or two so I can connect it to the fuel supply line. So probably that much will work just fine. There we go. And I'm going to use two hose clamps. These are 732 to 5 8 I'll just grab two new ones. Actually got a couple of used ones in here because you never know when you might need one. Then I'm just going to look at the check valve because it actually says on here which way out is. So it has the word out stamped on it with an arrow in this direction. So that's the side that I need to install this short piece of hose. Just put that on. And to make things easier, I'm going to use a quarter inch socket to tighten the nut. Don't need to over tighten it, but it does need to be snug enough so that fuel won't leak. And that's it. Now we can go over and disconnect the line and install the check valve. So before I start disconnecting these, I got to figure out which one is the supply line and which one is for return. I think it's the one on the top, but I want to make sure. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the line from this fuel filter back towards the tank. So it looks like this fuel line goes on the other side of the frame and goes on the outside. So, looks like it's this outside line. And then it looks like the outside line continues on in and sure enough it ends up on the top. So that's the one I'm going to disconnect so I can install the check valve. So I just really have to loosen it up. And then I can fit the check valve with the short piece of hose. And 
just attach that onto the supply line. And then before I tighten it up, I'll put this onto the supply pipe. I actually don't like the way that's gonna hit that piece of hose. So I'm gonna take it off. Let me flip that upside down. There we go. Now there'll be less chance of rubbing. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do that here too because it also looks like it's gonna rub. So, let me just take this apart and I'll flip that around. So, one moment please. Okay, now I can put this back onto the line and attach that onto the pipe. Looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. Now the check valve is installed. Now one of the things I was thinking about installing a check valve like this is that really all this can do is keep the fuel in the line from this point all the way up to the front of the Jeep. So still, when you turn the ignition off, the fuel that's in the line from this check valve is most likely gonna drain back into the tank. But I don't think that's gonna be such a big problem because the way it works right now, when you turn the ignition key on, the fuel pump inside this tank only turns on for one second to prime the line. That one second is definitely not enough time for the fuel pump to prime the entire fuel line all the way back up to the front. Now, of course, if you cycle the ignition key, you can get the pump to turn on two times in a row, giving you two seconds of total prime before starting the engine. If you try to cycle the key more than twice, the fuel pump won't turn on a third or fourth time. So I'm thinking that even if you try to cycle it now, if you can get it to prime this small section of line, from the tank to this check valve, that might be enough to get the engine to start up more quickly. So now that this is installed, I can drop the Jeep back down and start the engine. And it's also important to check the fuel line after you do a job like this to make sure that there's no leak. You also want to do this while the engine's running and while fuel is flowing. Because that's the time when the pump is energized and making fuel flow and you'll have more of a chance of finding a leak at that time than you would if the system was turned off. Okay, so the Jeep's been sitting outside for a couple hours now at least. And at this point, whatever fuel was in that line should have drained back to the tank if it's going to at all. So, now let's try to start the engine and see what happens.
much better. So there you have it. Fuel check valve install for a 91 Jeep Wrangler YJ. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.